One day, Gordon was at Wellsworth Station when Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Gordon, said Sir Topham Hatt, I'd like you to do me a favor. There are some trucks at the lead mines that need to be taken straight to Farquhar Station. Right away. Uh, y yes, sir, said Gordon. He was unsure. He hadn't pulled trucks in a very long time. Careful at that mine, said Thomas. I fell down at once, and you had to rescue me, remember? Yeah, you might want to be careful, said Edward. It's very dangerous at those mines. I'll certainly do my best, said Gordon. Well, I'll see what I can do. And Gordon puffed away to the mines. The train was on the other side of the mines. However, the tracks were very dangerous and old. They haven't been used in a very long time. Silly old tracks, said Gordon. He often tried to go that way, but it never succeeded. We'll have to go a different route again, I'm afraid, said Gordon's driver. Fireman, change the points. So he quickly turned the points. Now, this is a good opportunity, said Gordon. Quickly, he bumped Dr Gordon's driver off the footplate and straight to the tracks. Come back, yelled Gordon's crew, but it was too late. Gordon derailed and into the mine. Cinders and ashes, said Gordon. Oh, the indignity, said Gordon. I am a stupid, silly engine. And a very naughty one, too. I saw you. Please get me out, sir. I will not do it again. I'm not sure. We can't lift you up with the breakdown train or Rocky. That would be too dangerous because of the ground. I wonder if Thomas could pull you out. Yes, sir, said Gordon sadly. But he didn't want to meet Thomas at this point. Oh, Gordon, silly you, said Thomas. Don't worry, we'll have you out in a couple puffs. Quickly, Thomas was attached between Gordon and Thomas with some cables. Are you ready? Heave, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas tried hard. It was a lot harder than everyone thought it would be. But at last, Gordon was back on the rails and out of the mine. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Gordon. That's all right. You had to do this to me, remember? Ah, uh, yes. Well, you were cheeky many years ago, said Thomas. Well, I guess we're both in disgrace. How about we set aside these differences and forget about it, said Gordon. Certainly, said Thomas. And buffer to buffer, the two engines puffed home.